Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, first of all I want to say thank you for all the support. I've been getting uh, mails from YouTube telling me that people subscribe to my channel which is amazing because I have earned about 10 new subscribers in like a month which for me is like crazy. Uh, last four days I got one subscriber every day so that's that's really awesome so thank you guys for the support um, keep pressing that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already keep, keep pressing the like button I really appreciate it but let's jump into tutorials so um, I'm going back to basics here because uh, I have done um, the multi threading thing and uh, which is kind of intermediate or hard even but now we are getting back to basics so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this application which you can send emails from so you can send emails from Gmail or Hotmail so let's say Gmail here from I don't care at gmail.com my password is some random shit we're going to send it to um, I like 69 at um, let's say hotmail.com. So the subject is going to be um, hello, dude, and some random shit here. And if we send this, it should send an email, but I'm not going to send an email here. So um first of all I want to tell you that if you send a mail using visualbasic.net the form lags a bit but you can put it into multi-threading I'm not going to show you how to do it because the lag isn't that severe it only lasts for about three seconds but uh, yeah so uh, as you can see a bunch of code here but it's basically just the same code but I'm going to use it twice as it's different for Gmail and for Hotmail. I'm going to show you why in a second. So the first thing we want to do is uh, import system.net.mail. So this is where all the mail shit is going uh, to happen. Then in the button.send we just put all this code. And here what it's going to do is it's going to check if the user has put in a Gmail or a Hotmail by checking which um, which text is in the combo box right here. And um, then it's just going to execute the code as following. So it's going to declare the mail as a new mail message. Mail, so which is this dot subject is going to be text box 3 so as you can tell this is the subject box 2 dot add is going to be our 2 you can also use 2 dot add two times with two different email addresses if you want to send it to multiple people for example then the mail from is equal to a new mail address which is the email address of the sender which is basically this and then this but you can also uh, let the user input this so yeah let me show you something cool so if I just delete this combo box entirely I get a bunch of errors because this combo box doesn't exist anymore but what we can do is we can just check text box 1 so and we can say if text box one dot text dot ends with and then remove this put the bracket make it nice and clean and then do the same here text box one dot text dot ends with and what this is going to do if it's going to check if it ends with 
hotmail.com or gmail.com and if the value is true it's going to do this code so it's just basically the same except you don't have to use a combo box which I think is better to be honest and then we just can remove this and I think also this and this and this so okay let's uh, continue so the mail from is a new mail address which is the text box one dot text the from here then we have the mail dot body text box four dot text so this is your message the body is equal to the message that you want to give uh, also a little note you can say if mail from you can also change this in a way and make this a custom email address that you just make up or just a name and it will show but most of the email companies have a protection against that and will just show you the network credential which is this but um, we're not there yet so we had the mail body then we are going to declare SMTP as a new SMTP client which is the email server of Gmail which is smtp.gmail.com for Hotmail it's smtp.live.com for other uh, mailing servers is, it might be different you can just google that or um, if you have an iPhone and you go to uh, let's take mine here and look it up if you go to settings settings mail and then just press on one of your accounts you can see the host name and the host name is basically the same oh no 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 not the host name if you go way down you can see SMTP and that's the SMTP server so an iPhone can really help and then we have um, let's see here smtp.enable SSL is equal to true smtp.credentials is equal to a new system.net.network credential and then we are going to say our sender which is going to be a valid email address and then the password for that email address with a comma here between the two and then we say smtp.port for gmail it's 578 uh, 87 excuse me and uh, for hotmail it's 995 but again for other mailing companies it might be different you can just google it I'm not sure if an iPhone will help here but I'm going to find out come on faster you son of a bitch oh yes if you go to um, to where we were before and you go to advanced on your iPhone you can see the server port and that's basically the port of your server so that's very handy also if you don't have an iPhone you can just google it and then we are going to say smtp.send and then the mail which is going to send the mail which we made up here with the credentials or the SMTP which is here so uh, that's the basic of uh, mail in a future tutorial I'm going to show you how to let your application check if the mail is a valid email address so uh, that's pretty cool I'm not going to say that it's going to check uh, if the email address is real but it's going to check if it is an email address so it's going to check if it has an ad if it has a dot com or dot be or dot whatever so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, I hope you liked the video bye